Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome. Happy Monday on this 11th of February. How's everybody doing? Good to see you, Mark. There you go. Sonny, good to see you. Nice talking to you on Friday. Lita, good to see you. Ken, everybody. All right, looks like everyone's doing fine. Bob, good to see you. George, Lewis. All right, good, good. All right, everybody. So uh, it's a brand new week. So with a brand new week, there's always uh, a lot of, it's a whole new adventure. So listen, whatever happened last week, some of you guys did great. Some of you guys broke even. Some of you guys still learning and do too well. But remember, every day is a new adventure, uh, especially when you're starting a brand new week. So uh, let me see what's going on. There we go. Hopefully that's not playing anymore. All right. So let's uh, just remember, everybody, today is your typical Monday. And, you know, I didn't hear that much big news over the weekend. I mean, I mean, the big thing is you see a lot of political things stuff going on, but I, don't, I didn't see a lot of things that affect the stock market as much. Uh, you did hear that the Democrats came out with this whole new Green Deal thing, so um, which sounds pretty interesting, which probably would affect some of the – uh, some of certain stocks, I see some of the ETFs like gas stocks, have, are, 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 I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but uh, I would keep an eye on stocks like Tesla and uh, NIO, you know, any of those solar or, uh, you know, electric cars, you know, that might make a, a big, big run. But let, let's just see what happens. If it comes fruition, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Point is, you know, remember, we're all the same party and the party is the training party. So always remember that. So whenever these people come out with something, if it's the new border wall, whoever's building it, remember with steel, we did pretty well on that one. When uh, President Trump was coming out praising steel, we did pretty well on that. But they were all really good short-term plays. So just take it well with a grain of salt. Now, there are a couple of stocks I do want to point out that are making they are making some serious news. If I just want to really start off talking with the EA. Now, a lot of you guys remember we looked at EA last week, and the stock got crushed. Went from 95, opened up at um, like 75, was down like 20 points. Well, apparently whatever the news was was obviously false, or somebody misinterpreted it. It must have been extremely positive. But this stock had a great run on Friday. You can see how it ran from 86 all the way to 96 and is pushing pretty damn strong right now. Unfortunately for this stock right here, for some of us, it is expensive. You know we're not the fan of expensive stocks out there. Several reasons why. You can't see the good matrix iceberg orders out there. You can't see the, uh, you know, uh, you need a lot more money to trade it. You know, why do it? But listen, there are some of you here that can afford it. You know, and listen, there's 25,000 stocks out there. We only want to trade the ones that have the most action. And this one's got a nice little push. So if you are in, in the level four or level five category of a cyber trader, it's definitely right up your alley. Now, um, L, we've been looking at this OTL. K trade right here. This one that we found this morning. I don't know what the hell where this came from. This thing just went from a buck all the way to 230 and just came straight down. I don't know if that's a short squeeze or whatever, but that thing just, I don't know how a thing like that ran that much in the pre-market and then just tanked. So you could see it just like a big, big spike and came right back down. Listen, 1.6 million shares traded. Um, you know, I'm not a fan trading stocks under a dollar, but uh, it finally broke a dollar. And the reason for it, you got those because uh, then you deal with tens of a penny. But over here, you got great iceberg orders out there. You got great volume is exactly what we're looking for. Not the most, you know, attractive stock to trade in pre-market, but we'll put it on the watch list. Something a little bit better. And everybody knows this one if you're a cyber trader student. Remember we traded this stock about a couple of weeks ago? It ran from 5 all the way to about $14 in one day. This is one of our 300% movers right there. Now, why I'm looking at it, listen, it's up 22%, 276,000 shares. Guys, go back to your journals, okay? Remember we taught you in class. You know, you do your journals for not just to remind yourself of things not to do, but you do want to remind yourself because these stocks eventually will come back in play. And you want to know how you traded it, and you want to know exactly, you know, was there a lot of shakes? Did it, was it was it tradable? What level was it at? And uh, it's got great, great, great orders out here on the matrix. So you got great level three quotes. Um, you know, she's starting to build a little bit of a pendant right here. But because we know we trade it in the past, definitely put it on a watch list. It's not really right now the best looking stock, uh, as in, you know, with a good push on it. But we just know this stock does move very well. 
Uh, can't get shares to short AVCO. Um, Mark, first of all, you don't short stocks that are going up. OK, uh, that is a big, big, big no, no. You want to blow up your account? You know, uh, that's that's that that's a very good start. So uh, don't ever short stocks that are trending higher. All right. Uh, don't try to don't try to second guess it until you get better at it and you understand what's going on. Listen, I know this stocks have big short squeezes, but this stock goes from if you short the stock goes from five back to 13, you're done. You know, remember, slow and steady. Another one. um, a couple other ones, uh, NIGL came up on my radar right here. I'm sorry, uh, the PCG. PCG has been a pretty decent swing trade for us guys. You could see right here, gorgeous Fausto flag right there. A lot of us, uh, you know, did pretty well on this big catastrophe, and unfortunately, their catastrophe is cyber trading, cyber traders. Uh, opportunity, gorgeous, gorgeous Fausto flag right there. So it's not been a great swing, a day trade, but you know what? The stock is a swing trade. Uh, I mean, I, I I went long, and I wish I still had my a lot of my shares. So, you know, one of the problems about being a day trader is you become too conservative, you know. And people are like, what? Conservative? Yeah, you do come because you're always looking to take the money. Always looking to take the money. You never look at the big, which is a good thing. But uh, sometimes when you see something like this, you might consider otherwise. But you know what? If it didn't, uh, I know some of us saw the stock at 30 and it went down to 20s and went down to six. So, you know, timing is everything. And, uh, you know, obviously you can see the big winner, big runner up. And this is the reason why you got to be careful with these ETFs. Now, this stock is, you know, I'm not a really big fan of trading ETFs for the purpose of you got to be pretty advanced. They move pretty quickly. I know a lot of people says, oh, it's got volatility. Yeah, but the thing is, just because it's got volatility doesn't mean, you know, you could trade it. I mean, I, I get people always come up to me and, and, I, and, I, and when I talk about like on my, uh, you know, the, uh, the open house events that we do. Oh, you guys use time and sales. Oh, I, I can't use it because it moves too fast. Of course, it moves too fast when you're looking at something that's not tradable. That's why when you go through the lessons, the first lesson here at Cyber Train University, when you're a student here, the very first most important lesson is the first T. Remember, we teach you the three T's, tradable, trend and trap. The first T is not about the commission. It's about could you even get the stock? And remember, there are different levels when you look at a stock. And you know, I think that's, you know, that's the most expensive part of a trade. Remember, you didn't make money. You didn't make a single penny until you sell the stock. You're already losing, and you always got to keep that in mind. Now, there were a couple other ones that I did see here, but I wasn't too big fans of them. Uh, there was this NA, uh, the NAKD. You know, once again, you can see she's under a dollar. I'm not really... You know, I don't want to trade something like that. Um, there was this one, too, also, the UNVA, but she's breaking lower lows. I mean, she gapped up humongous on Friday, went from 50 to 64. If she's bre breaking down, she could be a short, but look, at the, look, there's no orders out there. So you're kind of playing with a little bit of fire out there. On the losers, I was hoping to get a couple of shorts. RGSE. I mean, look, uh, just – not really bringing up anything worth watching, all right? So um, listen, it's a typical Monday. This is what happens on a Monday. You don't get the greatest lists of stocks, which is perfectly normal. Uh, but usually when the market opens up, because remember, it's the weekend. A lot of people didn't really look at anything over. Uh, you don't really get that much news over the weekend unless if there's a weekend buyout or you know somebody you know came out to cure for cancer or something like that. I don't know. I mean, but as of, or something happened to politics, but nothing really is going on that much. So now, uh, and nobody comes out with earnings on the weekend. <laughs> that that, that kind of explains it all. So, uh, so it's a decent list. I mean, probably a little bit bigger than normal. Two and three stocks this morning is pretty much normal. So remember, hump days are Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. So that's where we get our biggest list. So, uh, But you should always know what it's like to be here. Listen, Monday mornings, once the market opens up, we'll find a new list. We'll work through our big percentage gainers, and we'll work together like a team. Anything I'm missing, I did not call out. Uh, SC, nice push, nice trend, you know. Uh, the only problem is it had a really nice close, but it's not doing anything. No volume, nothing going on with it. So, I mean, the spread is tremendous. So I probably would say no. Car, I mean, it's up a little bit, 7%, 20,000 shares. Uh, you know, maybe, I mean, it's testing resistance levels right here at highs. 
I mean, you could put it on the watch list. I mean, we could, we could add it. But like I said, I, I remember, I, I don't want to. We don't want to get desperate. All right, Fernando. All right, guys. So um, listen, we'll be back at two thirty. So we'll find a new list. So uh, once again, for we have a new lot, lot of new members that are starting today. Just uh, we are going to remember this is a trading room, not a teaching room. So kind of keep your questions. Uh, if you have any questions, you have several instructors in the room and, you know, and advisors. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, but uh, just what we always say, just look, listen and learn. All right, guys. Good luck today. Happy trading. And uh, we'll be doing our next audio broadcast uh, to trade going into the afternoon. Good luck, everyone. And welcome back.